Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading or your relationship reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. I thought I'd jump on for Valentine's and just kind of give an update on people and their relationships and what's going on in them. So, we will just go ahead and jump right in and see what Spirit has for a message for you. So, I'm going to see what comes out if it's, you know, just someone who's actually in a relationship. And I'm going to try to tap into as many energies as I can with, you know, how many views the videos get. So, let's see what comes up. Okay, I'm going to cut. Nope. I'm going to take this one. So it says, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So Aries, it looks like obviously you're in a relationship with someone. And maybe you guys are going through a little bit of a rough patch. Maybe you're thinking of giving up on that. So let me just see what kind of clarifiers come up. But I'm definitely sensing like maybe there's a good foundation here. Or maybe there's still just some more learning to go on in the relationship. That could really benefit both you and your partner. So let's see what comes up. So I'm going to read one type of energy on this side and then another type on that side, the person that you're dealing with. So kind of tap into which one is resonating more with you and that should work. Okay, don't need to cut there. All right, so we've got the six of swords. So right out the gate, completely makes sense with give your relationship a chance. I feel like maybe there's been a little bit of turbulence, like you, uh, there's been maybe arguing or just issues going on in the relationship and you're wanting to leave and you're, you're, I definitely, the first thought that spirit is giving me is that you think like, oh, the grass is greener on the other side. Like you're wanting to move to a smoother situation, something that might seem easier or better. But again, just going back to give your relationship a chance because I feel like there's, Maybe just some things that need to be worked through a bit more, just giving your relationship a bit more of a chance, okay? So let me see what else comes up to clarify this. And this could be in any type of relationship, you know? It doesn't always have to be a relationship that, like, a love, romantic relationship. I'm picking up two separate energies. This could be someone that you are romantically involved with, like a significant other, or this even could be with family or friends. So it's really whatever is resonating with you, Aries, okay? But definitely there's a good foundation here. Okay, and then we've got the Page of Pentacles, okay? So there's still a lot of, like, young energy here. I feel like, especially when it comes to material type of things, Pentacles is correlated with material, with the physical plane. So maybe there's some issues going on when it comes to, like, maybe finances or things of that nature or just... Um, Maybe someone is, you are is supporting each other in some type of material or financial way. So there's a little bit of like, you guys are still learning how to work through those issues together. Okay. And again, like I said, this could be family. This could be family that you're living with. This is maybe roommates or friends. Um, it, it could be either or because... I'm waiting to see like if there's some actual romantic energy that's popping up because I'm definitely tapping into different multiple energies on this. Yep, so Ten of Wands. So this is all kind of going perfectly together. You know, you're feeling really overburdened. You feel like you're taking on everyone else's burdens. That maybe you're even supporting someone who's maybe a little more youthful with their finances and you're feeling really overburdened by that. Okay, but Aries, what I'm picking up, especially if this is you and this is resonating with your energy that you are supporting someone who's more youthful with their finances or something, whether you're their significant other, a family member, um, a roommate, something of that nature, it's really just about, yeah, you being independent and, but setting your own boundaries, just communicate. You know, it doesn't always have to be just cutting people out. Sometimes you can just communicate and come up with some clear boundaries and really talk about plans on how to make things better. And that's, that's the solution for you. Because again, like there's just, I feel like this good foundation here. 
And then we've got the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So this is, is kind of like my, you're overworking, you're like putting a lot of energy into something and planting a lot of seeds, and you haven't quite seen the results of it yet. So I feel like maybe you are just still, like that is making you feel overburdened as, as well, okay? So maybe you are working really hard on something a lot. It's making you feel overburdened and maybe you are having these expectations, this person in your experience that is maybe youthful or immature about how they handle finances and you're wanting to just like cut them out because you're feeling so overburdened that you're just like, ah, like wanting to get rid of everyone and everything that seems like too much of a burden to you. Okay. So that's kind of this side of the energy. I'm going to pull and tap into this person's energy that you might be dealing with this person you're in a relationship with. I'm just going to cut that. Yep. So we've got the King of Swords. So this could be like a male type of energy. Someone, um, a very masculine energy. You could be dealing with a, a Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or someone who is just very intellectual, very, um, and maybe that's kind of their strength. They're very intellectual and wise and like very, um, you have a lot of intellectual stimulation with them and you, you guys communicate well, but maybe they're just not the best with their finances finances or maybe you are still learning about your finances and feeling youthful in that energy yourself okay but this person i'm gonna see what else comes up because i'm tapping into a couple different scenarios here okay so justice so I feel like this person, and this is why it's probably a really good relationship, the thing I'm picking up with this is that this person is actually very balanced. Like they're very just, they're very fair, especially kind of like correlating with that king energy. They're, they're really like stable. And I even think in some ways they're a very healing type of person and energy to be around. And maybe they're even through going through a healing period themselves. But I feel like this person is just like a good energy to be around. And maybe that's why you're feeling like um, kind of maybe torn about ending things with them. Because there is all this good energy I'm picking up on this side. So let me see what else comes up. So we've got the Six of Swords. So, um, same exact thing, Six of Swords. We've got that twice here, okay? So I feel like it's the same type of thing. This this is like a situation that actually brings both of you a lot of healing. And that's why I'm getting to really work on the relationship because both of you, maybe there's been some turbulence, maybe some arguing, some communication issues, but this person is very intelligent and just and um, maybe you guys are trying to come to some type of like compromise or conclusion on things and both of you are wanting a smoother situation. Okay. I can definitely see that for both of you, so, which is very awesome. You know, there's an equal type of desire as far as expectations go. Both of you are wanting the situation to be smoother. I think it really just comes down to that communication. So, um, I'm just going to pull an advice card really quickly and see what Spirit is saying, kind of how to handle the situation. So how does Aries need to handle this situation and this relationship, Spirit? Okay, I'm just going to cut there. Spread your wings. So... Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So I feel like when it comes to this relationship, um, do what you need to do. Don't hold back your feelings, your communication, everything. Like this is really about you standing up and communicating with this person, this relationship that you're in, because there's this good foundation here. 
give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership and really don't hold back on that. Like you guys, I feel like there's just this good connection and this good foundation there. So I don't think it's quite ready to like throw in the towel, really take some time to work on the relationship and see if there are other things that you can do to work on it. And the more you do that in relationships, the more you work on yourself and you create a stronger foundation within yourself. So really like take the time to do that with yourself, Arian, with Aries and with this relationship that you're involved in. Okay. And that is your message for this week. I really hope that helped and that you guys have an amazing and beautiful Valentine's day. And I will see you guys on Sunday for your general weekly reading. Take care.